Oh shit, it freaking works. So remote fuel cutoff switch. Let's get into it. All right guys, so this is the Relay remote kill switch. This is basically, I got this from eBay for around four or five dollars. And I recommend getting on eBay because on Amazon, we pretty much have the exact same um, relay but with two remotes and that costs around $79. So I'd rather just get this for a cheaper price. So what you get is the relay itself, come with some battery terminals, which you don't need unless you're wanting to do a battery kill switch instead, and one remote. All right, so what I recommend is a standalone fuse box, which is right here. Well, I have it already installed in the car, but basically this is what keeps your wiring organized. And also, in just case you want to do some other upgrades, such as a subwoofer or a GPS tracker, it makes it a lot easier and convenient as right here, you can see the top is your ground, my sides, your positive, and you see your main positive and ground wires. And also, it will be fused. And what come with? Come with fuses. So that's pretty cool, coming up fuses. Then also some mounting screws, which I'll use later in the build. Next up is what I recommend is some Dean, Dean's connectors, which I'll show you later in the video and why you need this. And I'll see you guys, it needs a good wire stripper and wire cutters and some crimpers, it's here. Also assortments of, of these butt connectors, um, ring, I forgot what these are called, but basically yeah, you need an assortment of these. And that's pretty much it. All right guys, so this is my standalone fuse box. You see here, um, this top part is positive, main positive, and this is your main ground of a bomb right here. These six terminals on the side is your main positive for your accessories. So this is my uh, remote relay. You see here, positive power goes here, almost one of sides, 20 amp fuse, and then the ground goes to one of these six right here. So make sure you ground. And this is my uh, relay. Remote relay, and it sees see these D, this D connector right here. This is like a bypass. So just in case you know this relay you know doesn't work anymore, I could easily swap it out. You can see here, and this is my uh, main wire for my fuel pumps. So it goes right here, and it will get you know continuous ground from a battery. So. And this, if I change it up, this this, this connector will go to the uh, remote relay, it's right here. On and off, you should hear the relay click. All right, so, so here's some, a few examples on how this works. So when I put the car and run, you should, you should hear a few pumps run. So here's an example. Now I'm going to turn it on, I'm going to a little switch. You guys hear a fuel pump, right? So I'm going to turn it on. Oh yeah, make sure. Okay. It's on. So when I turn it off, it should turn off. Turns off. So this is really cool, guys. Um, you know, it keeps it very convenient. So when you like go to the grocery store and you want to have some extra security, just turn the baby off, and you can't start it without fuel pumps. All right, so I have it off right here. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to start it with the uh, remote on the off. Oh, come on, baby, it's not starting. See, not starting. So that means it's off. So, put the baby on. It's on! Alright, guys, so here's another test. I'm gonna go ahead and stop a car, and then I'm gonna leave the car running, and I'm gonna go walk down to my driveway and see if a car turns off with the remote. Make sure it's on.
Bro, it worked. Not to close the hood. So just, just like, you know, just in case the connection, you know, wireless connection is blocked by the hood, me by trunk. But yeah, it worked. Let's go. All right, guys. So before I end this video, I want to do a little schematic. So this is your battery right here, right? Main power, power for positive and the main for a ground. And make sure the squares are for D connectors. So you got your fuse box, your standalone fuse box. So one side is positive. So all this is positive, and then you have your negative side right here. Then make sure you got your little D connector for your bypass. Then you basically hook up your positive, your main power line. So main positive goes to battery. Then your main negative line it can go to the negative side of the battery or even the body of a car. This is your remote relay, so make sure you have your power line. So positive, negative, negative. And then you have these other two below your power lines and these should be negative so one side should be a fuel pump which is right here so this is my fuel pump then obviously connect negative and negative then the positive should go to your pcm or your control module then the other side of the relay is also negative and then there should be a dean's connector right here and this should connect to uh, to negative ground. So it could be the body of a car or to a fuse box, depending on how you like it set up. And that's pretty much it. And you have a remote right here, a little transmitter, tell it to go on and off. Right here. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.